I am starting this video with Cataclysm because it is really hard to figure out what the hardest demon beaten on 60 was before this. This is just the easiest start since this completion was way beyond anything done on 60 prior. Enjoy the video. In mid 1.9, there were many difficult levels that people thought were in the realm of impossibility. This includes Ice Carbon Diablo X, Silent Club, and Cataclysm to name a few. Cataclysm was one of the most feared levels when it came out. Not many really attempted it. Sandstorm had the world record with 71% for a few months when Cyclic came out with a completion that was seen as legit at the time, but later to be proved hacked. On May 14th, Giron became the actual first victor of Cataclysm. The hardest level to be beaten on 60 Hz while also being the first victor of the level. High refresh rate monitors were not yet popularized in Geometry Dash, so this was a really hard completion to pull off at the time. This completion is looked over a lot since Riot's completion is miles more popular in comparison, even though Riot beat it on a higher refresh rate monitor, and they also beat it six days after. Oh my god! This level took a long while to get a 6 year victor, and had not gotten one since the level released in 1.6. Riot's completion is also pretty iconic for this level, which he actually was the first this time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Sergaster is a pretty iconic player nowadays, but people may forget his 6 year talent. Him being the first 6 year victor of Ice Carbon Diablo X is something amazing. This level was seen as impossible at the start of the year, and how the times have changed. This level will get many 6 years victors following this, nearing 100 low refresh rate completions in total. Just less than two weeks after Sir Geister's Ice Carbon Diablo X completion, Powerbomb verifies the Hell Factory by Team NT on 60 Hz. This completion was monumental at the time, becoming the number two demon on the demon list under Bloodbath. This is one of the few completions I remember watching when I first got into the community, and it has to be one of the most iconic GD reactions of all time. A demon this hard being verified in 60 was something not seen before, and it will stand the test of time of being one of the most legendary demon verifications ever. This level was originally placed under the Hell Factory, but it currently sits above it on the lower refresh rate demon list, and also above on Point Crate. This level was probably underrated when it came out, but the amount of difficult ship in this level carries it, being Kormal's hardest level at the time. This is a pretty funny level to be the hardest demon done on 60 Hz, since the level is a joke level, being a buffed version of Stereo Madness. This level would eventually become a pretty popular demon to beat on 60 Hz. One of the most legendary level verifications of all time, Phobos was a monumental completion. Originally placed under Bloodbath at number 2, but was moved up much later. The level only got two 6 years victors in nearly 4 years since the verification, the other being Jagar, but we will get to them very soon. This level was tough, very awkward, and usually hated by most of the community. 
but it is a great verification, truly showing Cromwell being the best 60 years player at the time. This would not be top for over another year, showing how much this completion stood the test of time for 60 years players. Bloodbath, many 60 Hertz players dream level, the high refresh rate oriented extreme demon, the most popular extreme demon in the game. It has gone through many players who tried and failed to progress in this level due to many unbalanced ship parts. Smokes nearly made history on July 13th, 2016. He would have beaten the hardest level on the demon list at the time on 60 Hertz. It would have been something not ever done yet. Unfortunately, he had one of the most heartbreaking fails in 60 Hertz history, dying at the duel on Giron's part, gatekeeping the final part of the level. This level would not get anywhere close to a victory until over a year later. It took over three years until Jagar, formerly known as Diamond Dark, to finally complete the level on 60 Hertz. This completion was pretty overlooked early on, I even thought it wasn't legit when I saw it back then. This level still sits on the top 20 level refresh rate demon list to this day, with now over 20 level refresh rate victors. Still gotta congrats Jagar for beating this level all the way back in 2017. Probably the biggest difficulty jump in 60 Hertz hardest theme in history, and it probably might never be topped ever again. Jagger beat Digital Ascent while it is the number 14 demon on the list. This completion is beyond monumental, almost unbelievable that this hard of a level could be beaten this early on. This level still only has Jagar as the sole 60 Hertz victor to this day, and the sole lower refresh rate victor to this day. This would be the hardest level beaten on 60 Hertz for over two years, being the most ahead of its time completion on 60 Hertz ever. This level is arguably harder than Cybernetic Crescent on 60 Hertz, which already has two victors. Big props to Jagger again for pulling off something that no one else has done for nearly four years. This year was a pretty dead area for 60 Hertz hardest, but I found some good moments that happened this year. Ukulizer becomes the first to be Artificial Ascent, Freedom Away, Distraught, and Blade of Justice on 60 Hertz. X will be the first to be Factory Real Mechs and Carnage Mode on 60 Hertz. Yes! Galaxy is the first to beat Killbot on 60 Hertz. Donut is the first to beat Subsonic on 60 Hertz. A really huge pop off for 60 Hertz players, but no one could finish the new hardest demon. Back when Plasma Pulse Finale was released, it was argued to be harder than Bloodlust. I find that funny because Hotball 1 made significant progress on 60 Hertz during that debate, getting 72% on the level before it was even beaten yet. It would take many years for a level to get a victor though. Localizer, the number one low refresh rate player at the time, finally finished this off in mid-2020. This was a big moment because the newly made low refresh rate demon list could finally have a new number one demon after over two years. This level is still a top 6 demon and is a very great completion. Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! I did it! 
I did it. The day of the Glorious Rebeat Plasma Pulse finale, Exel died at the last jump on Erebus. No! This would have been a very quick harder switch, as the Glorious Rebeat's Erebus is leagues above Plasma Pulse finale in difficulty. Nearly a month after this fail, Exel finishes this off after two more deaths at the last jump. Possibly the most 60 hertz unfriendly demon that has been done at this point. This level still has only two victors since, one of them being on mobile. This has been argued to be possibly harder than Aronia, which is the next hardest to be done. Who knows if this will be moved above it again. Off the back of being the third victor of Phobos and the second victor of Sunset Sandstorm, Lavacon was on the search for a new hardest demon on the low refresh rate list. He started Aronia, which at the time was the top 20 demon on the main demon list. Going for a demon this high on the list at this time was insane, and he pulled through. After seeing Coretta being verified and fear of that being the number one, he grinded it out and beat the most unique number one on the refresh rate demon list yet. This did spark a bit of controversy with the difficulty comparison with Erebus, which is still discussed to this day. But alas, still an amazing achievement. Still sitting at number 2 on the low for straight demon list. <laughs> you... you... <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Sonic Wave has always been a controversial level, but the drama with this level in mid-2021 was pretty wild. Sonic's faked the completion of this on 60Hz as the famous social experiment we all know and love. Anyways, during this time, Galaxy had been grinding this level a lot in recent months. He got 67% early 2020, and has been pulling it on and off until this moment. After three last wave deaths, he beats the hardest wave demon ever done on 60Hz, and currently the hardest demon on the lower refresh rate demon list. This completion is still insane, with Bifrex completing on mobile also being amazing. This will be one of the most iconic completions for a long time. Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Byprex has beaten Sigma on mobile, but does not think it's harder than Sonic Wave. This probably being placed at second begs the question of what is the next hardest to be harder than Sonic Wave. Byprex plans to do Fragile in the future. Nyadagorasu has been done on 75Hz, and the Rupture is getting great progress. Many things are coming out like a top Sonic Waves. Whenever that is, only time will tell. Thanks for watching the video, make sure to check out everyone in the description, everyone that was credited in this video. Goodbye.